I teach AP Computer Science Principles and AP Computer Science A. In both classes, you are analyzing code quite a bit. It's a very analytical class. Uh, it's very detail-oriented or good for detail-oriented people. You're having to look for specific details in code and find your problems uh, and also understanding what we're what we're going for and what you're trying to do it's very problem based you're using a lot of your you're going to utilize your problem solving skills because most of the time you are given a prompt and then you have to find a solution to the problem it's very experience based there's really not a lot of lecturing i that doesn't work super well for the course it's very much where you watch a video where i talk and explain a concept and then you follow along with the video and later you end up doing more of a project or uh, putting all the things together in some shape or form more on your own. So you get all the pieces, but then you have to put them together eventually in the end. Uh, you get to work alone most of the time, but you also can collaborate with others. Sometimes it's just during class you're talking to your neighbor or if you work better by yourself, you can work by, work by yourself. Uh, there's not really any big projects where you have to, but it's, it's encouraged because it can really help to just talk to someone else about your issues and stuff. Uh, these classes also let you think outside of the box and get creative. There's not necessarily one solution to the problems that you're given, so you can take what you've learned and work with it. Sometimes students will submit something and I'm like, wow, I like that better than my solution, and I'll start doing theirs instead. So it happens. Specifically, uh, computer science principles, you are exposed to a wide variety of topics. You, we talk about uh, how the internet works, we talk about data and uh, algorithms and developing algorithms and the developing process of programs, uh, global impact of computing and how things work in general. It gets a taste of a lot of different things and we don't master one specific thing. For AP Computer Science A, uh, CSP, or Computer Science Principles, is a prerequisite for it. So make sure you take that first. And CSA, or Computer Science A, uh, is more in depth. It goes more in depth with programming specifically, and we focus on Java. So we learn Java as a new language and focus on programming in that world. It, the way that it feels is more what you think of when you think of computer programmers uh, with code and making all those kinds of things. It's the best way that I can explain it to someone who hasn't experienced it yet. Uh, some of the benefits of taking AP courses in general and specifically computer science, uh, well computer science is a growing field so it's being incorporated into more places than you would think. Um, even if you're working with machinery or you're in a trade job more often, um, you still are likely using technology in some shape or form. Uh, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics forecasts that software developers uh, is one of the highest growing occupations. It's got the third highest median pay of a list made in 2018. And uh, it's about... Uh, th that median pay is about $103,000 annually, so it's a pretty good pay in general. Uh, so yeah, they both get you experience in programming. If you don't really know necessarily if you like it or not, but you enjoy computers and you think you might want to do it, take CSP. If you uh, take CSP and then you really enjoy the programming aspects of it and you want to be a software developer or a game developer or something like that, then uh, I would continue taking CSA. If you want to try to prep yourself for it, uh, make sure that you can type. <laughs> Typing helps a lot in the course. Um, and just maybe try code.org and get a little bit of experience. If you really don't like it, then I don't know, come talk to me and then we can figure out if it's more what you want and see if uh, you can get some more information to see if it's a good class for you.